The hidden sugar in our diet is hard to find. You'll be amazed at the things that have added an often unnecessary sugar inside. Breakfast cereal, most of you could have guessed this one, but we're not talking about the sugar in the sugary cereal. We're talking about hidden sugar in so-called healthy cereals. Some healthy cereals have more than 23 grams of sugar per serving. Asian food, most restaurant made or packaged Asian food has an enormous amount of sugar in it. Even sushi. The way you make sushi rice includes adding sugar to it. You can make your Asian food to ensure that the sugar level is not too high. Canned and packaged soups and sauces, thankfully, all you have to do is check the labels. Some yogurt has more than 15 grams of sugar. Even spaghetti sauce and gravy can have more sugar than soda pop. If you want to be sure to eat less sugar, read labels, and find no sugar options or make your own. Frozen yogurt, just because the word yogurt is in it doesn't mean it's healthy. It's just as sugary as regular ice cream. It's a dessert. Treat it as if it's a dessert. Don't use it for a meal, and don't believe you're eating healthier. If you prefer real ice cream for a snack you are now free to eat it instead, as one is not better than the other when it comes to sugar. Smoothies, they're all the rage and there are many smoothie shops out there banking on it. But, most smoothie shops use fruit with added sugar which removes any benefits you would have from drinking a smoothie at all. If you make your own, watch it when recipes ask for dried fruit too. Using whole, fresh fruit is much better. Bread, while some bread is good for you, most bread is made with highly refined flour and sugar. Both of these affect blood sugar. Even wheat bread may be high in sugar, so you need to read the labels. The bread that is usually low in sugar is rye or spelled. Plus, you can make your own to avoid additives and sugar that can harm your health. Condiments, you know we all like to dip everything. But, if you dip your fresh apples or celery into the wrong thing, you may be making matters worse. Instead, make your condiments or read the labels. Today there are many low sugar varieties of condiments, including low sugar ketchup. Canned beans, check the labels on canned beans, especially ones with any type of sauce on them like chili beans or baked beans. These are usually so high in sugar that if you compared it to a cake you wouldn't know which was which just by the amount of sugar. Muffins, you probably already realize that some muffins are high in sugar, but even the ones that sound healthy are just cakes in muffin form with a healthy flour or healthy name added. They are all high in sugar. There are some recipes for low sugar muffins, though, just search the net and you're sure to find them. You don't have to do without. Yogurt, just like frozen yogurt is high in sugar, so is most sweetened yogurt, including low-fat yogurt. The best way to combat this problem is to make your yogurt or eat yogurt as a dessert. You can also buy plain yogurt and add your fruit and stevia to create a low-sugar snack that is healthy due to the probiotics in yogurt. The lesson is that anything pre-made and packaged is in danger of having too much sugar. It's best to read the labels and judge for yourself. Keep in mind that the average adult should not consume more than 90 grams, or 5% of their total calories, in added sugar daily. One thing that needs to be clear is that there is a difference between naturally occurring sugars and added sugar. There is sugar in all plant food and plant food is good for you. Most of your plate should make up plant food if you want to be at your optimum health. So, it breaks down that adults should not consume more than about 90 grams in total of all sugars each day. How much of that constitutes added sugar depends on your ideal daily caloric intake. That means if you eat 1,500 calories each day, you can eat 90 grams of sugar a day. How much of that you want to be processed and added sugar is up to you. But obviously, keeping the amount of added sugar lower is better for your health. This gives you some room to experiment with your health and to have a little fun on your birthday. When you consider that a cup of grapes has 15 grams of sugar but a can of coke has 39 grams, it makes the choice easier. If you want a drink, you can try a sugar-free Zevia or even better, LaCroix. But a tall glass of filtered water with a cup of grapes will fill you up longer. The main thing is to find substitutes that you truly enjoy and like, while not overshooting the 90 grams of sugar allowance you have for each day. The more natural sugars that you consume within that 90 grams, the healthier you'll feel. And there are many low glycemic choices that you can make. Fruit. 
apples 1 small equals 15 grams, apricots 1 cup equals 15 grams, banana 1 medium equals 14 grams, blackberries 1 cup whole equals 7 grams, blueberries 1 cup whole equals 15 grams, cantaloupe 1 cup diced equals 12 grams, cranberries 1 cup whole equals 4 grams, grapefruit 1 cup equals 16 grams, guavas 1 cup equals 15 grams, honeydew 1 cup diced equals 14 grams, lemons 1 wedge equals 0.2 grams, limes 1 wedge equals 0.15 grams, papaya 1 cup 1 inch cubed equals 11 grams, peaches 1 cup sliced equals 13 grams, raspberries 1 cup whole equals 5 grams, rhubarb 1 cup diced equals 1.3 grams, strawberries 1 cup whole equals 7 grams, tomatoes 1 large whole equals 4.8 grams, watermelon 1 cup diced equals 9 grams. Vegetables Artichokes 1 large equals 1.6 grams, asparagus 1 cup equals 2.5 grams, broccoli 1 cup chopped equals 1.5 grams, carrots 1 medium equals 2.9 grams, celery 1 cup chopped equals 1.8 grams, corn 1 cup equals 1.1 grams, cucumber 1 8 in equals 5 grams, green beans 1 cup equals 3.3 grams, kale 1 cup chopped equals 1.6 grams, lettuce 1 head equals 2.8 grams, soybean sprouts 1 cup equals 0.1 grams, spinach 1 cup equals 0.1 grams, summer squash 1 cup sliced equals 2.5 grams, Swiss chard 1 cup equals 0.4 grams as you can see, most natural foods don't have too much sugar. If you can eat 90 grams of sugar a day and you choose wisely from the lower sugar fruits and veggies, you'll be surprised at how much you can eat if you avoid added sugars. When you consider that 1 teaspoon of processed sugar is 4.2 grams, you can decide what is best to eat in every given situation. Are you addicted to sugar? As you read this report, do you start thinking about ways to get around the 90 gram maximum of sugar that you can have each day? Note that the 90 grams of sugar per UK government guidelines you can consume per day has nothing to do with how many carbohydrates you eat each day. This is a separate number that you should be tracking. Here are some common behaviors that predict sugar addition. You eat too much, if there are some foods that you just can't stop eating, assume they're likely high in sugar. Sugar doesn't make you satiated, so it's hard to stop. This is made worse if sugar is combined with sodium and fat. For example, you may be eating donuts which are also high in salt and fat, but would you eat them without the sugar? Doubtful. You crave processed carbohydrates, if you're often craving refined carbs like chips, crackers, and bread, then you may just have a problem with sugar. Often, eliminating added sugars can reduce cravings that you're having for high processed carbs over time. You crave salty foods, with processed foods, salt and sugar go together very well. If you feel like you could lick a salt lick and be happy, you may be addicted to sugar. Look at the amount of sugar in the snacks you normally eat. If they're highly processed, you can bet they have too much added sugar. You crave meat, this might seem strange, but if you crave meat when you really don't need it and aren't that hungry, you may be craving the spices that are often on meat such as wing sauce which is very high in sugar. Every meal is high in sugar, is your typical meal higher in sugar than it should be? Keep in mind that a maximum of 90 grams is a maximum. It doesn't mean you need to eat that much sugar. If you feel bad and aren't healthy, you can always cut that amount down. The best way to do that is to avoid added sugars and only eat sugar that is naturally in plants. You get moody without sugar, if you find that you are often feeling grumpy and moody, the problem might sugar. If you often suffer dips and rises in blood sugar, when you have a dip you will suffer from grumpy moods. This can be exacerbated by eating sugary things like candy which will provide a fast jump and a quick fall. You feel powerless over sugar, do you ever feel like you don't even want to eat that sugary snack but you do it anyway because you know it'll make you feel better? This is common in people who work long days, students especially. Eating a sugary snack will indeed help temporarily, but you'd do far better eating a fruit snack with only natural sugars and fiber to help slow down the sugar absorption. You start and end your day with sugar, look at your entire day. What do you eat in the morning? What do you eat before bed? What is the first and last thing you eat each day? If you're eating sugar in the morning and at night, especially added processed sugar and not sugar in whole plants, then that is a sign that you may have an addiction to sugar. You suffer a 3 p.m. slump, if you work in an office, you'll notice this a lot more than if you are retired or work from home. But pay attention if somewhere after lunch you start falling asleep while you're working or feel as if you need a nap. Look at your diet. Are you giving yourself energy for lunch or are you setting yourself up for a sugar crash? 
If you are going through any of these issues, it is wise to calculate how much sugar you're eating on any given day. Most people eat double the sugar maximum of 90 grams a day due to added and processed sugars, including hidden sugars.